Good morning. Uh, I'm Jim Eisenhower, Chairman of the uh, James City County Board of Supervisors, representing the uh, Jamestown District. Um, wanted to start out this morning with a, a recap of where we've been. Um, at our declaration of a local emergency about six weeks ago, we were one of the leading hotspots for coronavirus in Virginia. As a locality with only 1% of the state population, we started out with about 7.9% of the cases and 13.6% of the deaths in Virginia. Our citizens' embrace of the preventative measures, such as social distancing and wearing masks, has helped us bring those numbers down significantly. Currently, we are down to about 1.4% of cases and 3.5% of deaths. It's not been easy, but it's paid dividends, but we still have a long way to go. The impact of the pandemic on our economy has been substantial. The Board of Supervisors is working with staff to revise our introduced fiscal 21 budget uh, to refine our revenue shortfalls to identify cuts that uh, we need to make in spending in order to balance our budget. We're gathering additional information from federal and state sources and have moved our next budget work session back to May 5th to give time for that uh, information to get to us. We will then hope to adopt our budget uh, on June 9th, which is a little bit later than normal. The biggest hit to our economy is obviously in our tourism industry, with hotels and restaurants particularly impacted. While we hope to reopen many of our businesses soon, our overriding goal will be to do so in a manner that protects the health and well being of our citizens. This will require a substantial increase in testing and tracking to identify and react to new surges of infection, of infection in hotspots. We will definitely need significant assistance from both state and federal governments to make this happen. In closing, I wanted to thank all of those essential workers who have helped us through this crisis so far, especially to our county employees, healthcare workers, our first responders, as well as those who keep us uh, supplied in the grocery stores, restaurants, and pharmacies. We owe all of them a huge debt of gratitude. Please make sure every time you see them to thank them for what they have done for our community. Um, I'd like you to uh, keep one thing in mind. Uh, this is not over. We need to stay the course. Together, we will beat this pandemic. Please stay safe. Thank you.